how you doing today? I'm here back with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to disassemble and replace your Acer Spin 3 model series. And it comes with an iCore 3 7th gen processor. If you guys need to know the exact model for this one, it's an N17W5 model. In order to remove the bottom cover, you have to remove all the screws at the bottom part which includes 12 screws in total you have to remove. They are all the same size, so you guys can't like a, make a mistake. They don't go a specific place. They have the same height. So remove all the screws at the bottom cover. Once you remove the bottom cover screws, you wanna lift up the laptop in 45 degree angle, and then you wanna stick the guitar pick right in between the top and bottom cover. And you want to twist it around, just twist, go all around it, mostly the front side and a little bit of the side. And then you're going to close it back down. Or once you close it back down, you want to grab the cover right in the corners and you want to lift it up slowly and wiggle it around. And you're going to hit those clips cracking and then lift the bottom cover. All right, down here, very simple. We got the hard drive right over here. We got the battery, your Optane drive right here, your Wi-Fi board, your CPU, your heatsink, and the RAMs are right under this thermal pad sticker right there. These are the onboard RAMs. You cannot upgrade the RAMs for this model. They come soldered right on it. So if you want to upgrade, you're thinking about upgrading. You are out of luck, so there's nothing you can do with the RAMs. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the heat sink right here by removing three clips, three screws right on the X clamp right here. And these are the worst X clamp ever. I don't know if you can see this one. If you pay attention, you can see that the die over here, the second die, is not even touching the heat sink. It's not even near close to the uh, copper heatsink at the bottom. There's about what, about one or two millimeters of space right there, right there. So the f main die is touching. Actually, there's a plate right there. So that means it's gonna overheat very very soon if you guys don't fix this or add there. So we're gonna remove the three screws right here. All right, we're gonna lift it up. As you can see right there. And let's twist it this way. Now you can see the difference. The main die, it was touching the super uh, right here. The uh, HD graphics side die is not even close to the copper plate right over here. They forgot, they shift the whole thing the wrong way. So and let's go ahead and disconnect the battery for now. Just by pulling this cable right here. Let's say if it was in this position right here. And we're gonna flip it over on the other side. So pretty much, let's say, uh, just like that, we align this screw right here. And we can see this die comes right over here and it stays right on the tube right here and doesn't touch the tube. So there's a gap between the tube and this copper plate. But on this end, I have this extra space. So I'm guessing the defect is that they're supposed to shift this whole copper plate this way, but they brought it down to this side because the size is enough to cover both of them, but it's already shifted to the wrong side. And I guess they're not gonna fix that. Maybe the next version or something, you guys can take this back because of this defect. That's why it really overheats quickly when you do graphics, it lags and it crashes. This is the reason. To fix it, you can put a really thin about one millimeter um, thermal pad here to remove the heat to the copper tubing but it's not the same as i'm putting a thermal paste having a hard contact with a copper sheet right there so we're gonna do some kind of repair here it's not a way it's supposed to be but it's gonna be better than nothing So let's clean up the old thermal paste. We 
are you gonna get a, a thermal pad right over this die right there we're gonna put a thermal pad there and we're gonna grab the I use an MX4 Arctic server for this one put a tiny drop of the thermal paste right on the next die this is definitely gonna help a lot but it's not the same but it will help a lot also these flimsy X clamps right here they are not doing anything they're just holding the, the heatsink in a place it doesn't even push the thermal the heatsink towards the CPU so that's another big issue the X clamps are really crappy they're supposed to do a they're supposed to push it I just pull that pull back the legs a little bit so actually I can get a little bit of tension going right to the CPU but there's not much I can do here and we're gonna put it back down and we're gonna put the screws for it now you can actually see that the thermal pad is actually helping out is actually making contact with the tube and with the CPU don't put a really thick one otherwise it's gonna do a counter force and it's gonna lift up the CPU the heatsink a little higher because the X clamps are really crappy so just put the right thickness you always have to keep the battery disconnected and if you want to plug the battery in just slide it right underneath and push it towards the connector and you just grab the bottom cover just stick it right in there I just push it down all the sides and put the all the screws at the bottom they are the same size so don't worry about it I hope you guys like this video if you guys liked it click that thumbs up and click subscribe it really helps and I appreciate it and if you guys have any comments you know where to leave them and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching